Hello, welcome everybody right to another Facebook Friday, another Ferlici Friday. I'm Amy Ferlici and I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. It is a beautiful, magical fall day here in Michigan. This is like the perfect weather kind of day for like, you know, crisp fall air. I've already taken Stormy, my little buddy, on one walk and I'm sure we're going to get at least one more walk in today. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Diane, hello, welcome. We are going to play with some beautiful fall items from our new holiday mini catalog. This is the Autumn Leaves stamp set, so I want to share this with you guys. This is actually uh, Amy Coenders. This is her Million Dollar Achiever stamp set that she created, and she's got so many beautiful ideas. So go to Pinterest. What I always do if I'm looking for ideas is I type in Stampin' Up, so that filters out all the other paper crafting companies because I only want to know about Stampin' Up stuff. So I'll do that in the looking glass. So type in Stampin' Up and I'll put in Autumn Leaves and you'll see a ton of beautiful projects including um, a bunch that Amy Coenders um, designed with her million dollar stamp set. So we have, let's see, great sentiments. We've got I'm thankful, this one right here, and then these teeny tiny, and they actually stamp really well. So these say, I'm thankful, right, for all you do today and every day. This is really hard for me to read, you guys, and to have you as a friend. And then we've also got this one up here that says, with a grateful heart. This is a beautiful sentiment, too. Hi, Bonnie. Welcome, and thanks for sharing. Um, it says, autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. Um, and then lots of beautiful leaf imagery. And I love how kind of the veins of the leaves can be stamped inside. We're gonna have lots of fun. I like looking in here. Um, we're using all but two of the stamps in the stamp set, which are the teeny tiny little guys here. So you're gonna get a great uh, sampling of what you can do, what you can make with this stamp set. And then a gorgeous set of dies too, the autumn leaves dies. Um, so you can see like some of the images are uh, coordinating with the with the stamp set so you can stamp and then die cut and then they've got a couple of labels which are awesome they've got the veins too or I guess this one right here and that one I feel like there's one more that I'm missing um, anyway and then some kind of coordinating complementary uh, leaf images in there also so beautiful bundle we're gonna have an awesome time playing with this today I'm gonna put it aside because I'm trying to keep myself organized as usual. It's always <laughs> a task around here. If you guys could see, I have so much I want to share with you. I'm like, my table is so full. I'm like, oh, I gotta, I always talk fast. I feel like I'm going to talk even faster. So I'm like purposefully trying to like not do that because I want to share all this stuff with you guys, but not take like five hours to do it. Right. So hi, Teresa. Welcome. Thanks for being here with us. And also thank you guys. So I celebrated my 53rd birthday on Wednesday, September 13th. Sometimes it falls on a Friday and that's like a freaky Friday birthday. Right. But this one was Wednesday and I got some cute cards I want to share with you guys. And I have to say too, I love like all all of the, you know, the emails, the posts on Facebook. Hi, Deb. Welcome. Um, you guys just know how to make a girl feel loved, which is, I truly appreciate that. So, and then some super cute birthday cards. So, okay, this one is from Miss Sharon Greening. She is one of our Inkspired Stampers, one of my team members. And check this out. So it's beautiful, right? And then look, thanks for sharing the video, Miss Deb. I am like, okay, this is going in my um, little pile of cards to case like card layouts right isn't that so cool i just love like it's like a little kind of an accordion fold right how it opens and i'm sure it's not that complicated but i love how she used all the designer series paper and then on the back is where you can write your sentiment as well so thank you sharon beautiful beautiful card i love that and then this one is super duper cute this is from jamie sanders um another one of our inspired stampers team members and i think this is just so stinking cute right the little like dancing ballerina and she's you know on her stage and then even the black and white with um, that die is just so it like all works so perfectly together so very very cute little card there too I love that little happy birthday to you um, and then actually on the inside she used a sticky this is like my trick I love to do that too basically saying happy birthday but also you can like reuse the card too I love that I'm like a huge recycler right so I love that you can like share a card with somebody and make their day make them feel good and then pass it on and share it with somebody else so love that idea too so thank you guys that was very very sweet of you the cards were awesome made my day so thank you 
Um, oh, okay, so yay, I can finally show you guys like the holiday catalog and the inside of the holiday catalog. When we flip the camera down, I have a bunch of swap cards that I just received this week. I didn't realize I was going to be getting them quite so quickly. So we're going to do a little flip through the catalog and I'm going to show you some products that were used on the swaps. I think I've got them all organized. We're just gonna do a little flip, but we'll do that in a little while. But I love, like I can finally share the inside of the catalog with you guys, right? A little teaser there. Again, if you need a catalog, let me know. I've got a bunch of them and I would love to get one sent out to you if you need one, all right? Um, oh, and then also holiday catalog paper share. I have these, well, first batch, cut and ready to go. So this is an example right? This is a quarter of a pack. And I think I'm actually, there are maybe two packs that I'm still waiting on. That's why I haven't like gotten them sent out yet because I was able to order most everything. And then a couple of them are like um, still to be coming. Now they're on, there are a few on back order. So we're not going to talk about that. But if you're interested, let me know because I can definitely, as soon as everything's available, I'll get it ordered and sent out to you. Hi, Amy Jo. Thanks for joining us. But this is, oh, and then this beautiful, right? That autumn I can't remember whatever the autumn paper is, but that I love to show that one right on the front there. But we're gonna just do a quick flip through. Well, you guys, if I go this way, maybe? Hold on, let me do that, right? <clears throat> so can you kind of see? Yeah, you get, I think I showed you guys. Didn't I show you many of these? Pretty sure I did. I pulled them open, but this is, this is kind of, like I said, the quick flip, a quarter of a pack of all of, and ooh, check that out. We've got the shimmer, glimmer. Is it the glimmer paper? Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, shiny, glimmery paper. Okay, so a quarter of a pack of 15 different designer series paper packs in the holiday mini catalog. It's $51 to get a quarter of a pack. So you get a sample of every paper in the holiday catalog. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for joining us. And then you can decide if there's one that you fall in love with and you want to get a whole package of it, right? So <laughs> yes, hi, Anna. I'm so happy you're able to catch me on the live today. Very, very cool. And good morning to you, Miss Brenda. Um, okay, so yeah, let me know. Oops, I'm like, that's sliding out of my hand. If you're interested in the paper share, I'm still taking orders. Um, as soon as I get a group of four, I put another order in. Um, so if you're interested, let me know and I can get you a paper share. I'd love to do that. Uh, okay, I'm like, I'm gonna throw stuff on the ground so that I can clear things up. Oh, and then the other thing too, we have, and I don't have them yet. So I have this, and I don't have a way to print in color anymore, um, which is a big, Big fat bummer in my opinion. I'm gonna have to work on maybe getting a color printer. So anyway, there is a special release of five different designer series papers. So you can't you can't even like get the beauty of it, right? But there are um it's not all holiday either. I'm trying to remember. I'm hoping to get those ordered. Hi, Pam. Hello, and thanks for sharing. Um, I am hoping to get those orders soon so that I can show them to you. But this is a paper that you're not going to find in any of the catalogs. It's only available online. So if you go to stampinup.com, there is a section that says online exclusives. If you click on that, you'll be able to see everything, um, you know, that is uh, not available or not, 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 you can't see it. It's not visible in any of the catalogs. It's only available online and also only available while supplies last. So as opposed to anything in the um, actual catalogs, even if it goes on back order, they're, well, generally, I would say, they're generally um, <laughs> guaranteeing. I guess there's an occasional something that sells out, but generally things are available for the whole catalog period, or at least up until more like the end of the catalog period. So, oh, let's see, you're camping right now. That's so fun. Okay, you might have to watch the replay. I totally get it. Camping sounds like a great thing to be doing on a beautiful fall weekend like this. And hello, Miss Lori. Thanks for joining. Um, okay, so yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. Designer series paper, the best way is to just go right online and check it out and if there's anything you love. And I know there are some beautiful packs of paper in there, so I'm like excited to get my hands on those as well. There's so much paper to play with right now, which is great because I always need to make a bunch of holiday cards. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna get a bunch of holiday designer series paper and make some beautiful cards featuring the paper. Simple, easy, right? With a cute stamp set or something, a cute sentiment and might be about all I need, right? And maybe you too. So if you need ideas too, let me know. Hopefully I'll be sharing um, some fun holiday uh, project ideas for you in the coming weeks and months up until Christmas time, right? Which, gosh, don't even say it, right? It'll be here before we know it. 
Eek. No, I'm not rushing fall either. Summer went by way too fast, right? Um, oh, and then also I have to say thank you for your online orders that have come in so far. I put the word out that I'm trying to reach my $400,000 in sales mark by the end of September. We've made good progress. I still have probably like $3,500 in sales. So that's still a lot. That's like, that would be a big month for me. Um, if I could, if it would be one of my best months ever, honestly, if we could do this. But so I'm putting it out there again and saying thank you so much for everyone that has already ordered. I truly appreciate that. And if you are so inclined, I love to say, because this is so very, very true, that I know you have your choice of demonstrators. Um, if you are so inclined to pick me as your demonstrator on your next online order, I would be truly, truly grateful. And that'll help me get that much closer to uh, reaching that $400,000 in sales goal, which sounds, that's a lot of stamps, ink, and paper when you really think about it. Like, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that fact. I know um, in the whole conversation last time was people asking about, when do you, when are you going to get to your million dollars and be able to design a stamp set? And, you know, laughingly, I'm like, I'm not even halfway there, but every hundred thousand, you know, gets you that much closer. So, yeah. So if you're interested, so inclined, I would truly appreciate your online orders um, by September 30th in order to try to meet that goal before the end of our Stampin' Up! year. Okay. Um, and I'll keep you updated on things too. Um, I have, oh, a customer appreciation event too. I should mention that also. That's here local. Um, it's next week on Wednesday the 20th at the Peace Lutheran Church right here in Alma from 6 to 9 p.m. So if you're at all interested, I know it's hard if you're long distance, you're not able to participate. Um, but I've got an idea of something I might be doing online um, right at the very end of the month. If I need that one final push for sales, I'm kind of waiting to keep it under, keeping it under wraps right now to see how things go um, in the next week or so. So I'll keep you posted, but I might have one more fun opportunity for you. But you should know, where's my little stack of paper? If you order online through me, in addition to all the regular Facebook Live freebates, I am sending out 10 additional handmade cards to you. So I've got this beautiful stash. They're not all current. We've got lots of, you know, um, prior annual catalog and holiday and mini catalog products used on these cards, but they're so stinking cute and they're great for card layout ideas as well. So if you order through me a minimum $50 order, you're going to get all the regular Facebook live freebies and 10 additional handmade cards as well. So keep that in mind, right? Something to be thinking about. Um, okay, so we are going to do our first drawing. We have, these are the adhesive back sparkle gems. These beautiful gems. So there's like silver gold and kind of a black, which those would be fun like for Halloween projects too, now that I'm thinking about that. So your name is in my little handy dandy basket here if you shared our last Facebook Live video or you signed up for my email list. Okay, draw one lucky winner here. Who do we have? I got one in my hand. Haha, <laughs> Miss Vina Gomez. She's such a good sharer of everything too, not just Facebook Lives. I think she shares so very many of my posts. So thank you, Vina, for the share and congratulations on winning those little adhesive backed uh, sparkly gems, right? I will get those sent out to you. All right, I'm gonna scoot that. I'm gonna dump those out and get ready for our next drawing in a few moments. In the meantime, this is what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live, which is gonna be in two weeks from today. So that puts it at the 29th of September. That'll be the eek, like final moment right before the end of the month, right? So these are the iridescent adhesive backed discs. They're called the iridescent adhesive back discs. And you can see, so they're kind of, while well, they're iridescent, right? So this is a very iridescent kind of, you know, whatever um, color you need it to be. We've got, I'm going to say melon mambo. Um, those look like maybe a pool party and a poppy parade. And I think, I think it's like a green. Maybe you guys can tell me, right? Um, I'm going to say granny apple green on those, right? So they're so pretty. They're just white, right, like super sparkly, super duper cute. Um, but yeah, those are a great set. Oops, I got to make sure my adhesive doesn't pull any of those discs off. I think we're good, right? It's all intact. So yes, share the Facebook Live video. Sign up for my email list. The link is always above this Facebook Live to do that. Um, signing up for my email list. Your name will go in the drawing next two weeks from today. Not next Friday, but two weeks from today. Um, we'll do that drawing for those beautiful little iridescent adhesive backed discs. 
Yay. I love the adhesive backed too. You got to put that in there because I love that we don't have to add adhesive to them, right? Um, okay, so I do want to mention also because I, I know I always have a number of team members and even if you're not on my team, want to make sure that you know that Stampin' Up! the end of our year is September 30th. So keep in mind the whole retitling with Stampin' Up! If you're not meeting your title requirements on September 30th, you could drop back down to a previously earned title. So the the one, like the first one is Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales. You wanna make sure you have those full $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales on September 30th, because then you earn your 25% discount for a whole additional year. So October one, through September of September 30 of 2024, you get your 20 25% discount. So your 20% discount, even if your sales dip below the $1,800 after October 1st, it doesn't matter because you've earned it and you get to keep it the whole year. And I want to congratulate because Miss Sunday Ostrander, who is one of our Inspired Stampers team members, she is at the title of silver, which is when you have rolling sales of $3,600 in um, the year, so in our calendar year that again ends on September 30th, and you have to have one team member to keep that status, that title, and she had dipped below that $3,600 in sales, and so we were talking at um, our Simple Beautiful card class last week, and she was saying, I need, you know, so much in sales to bump me back up so I can continue to meet my title requirements. And I said, you know, I <laughs> I still do have a hard time, but I'm getting better at it, as you guys can tell, right? Just throwing it out there and saying, hey, you know, if anybody needs anything, especially because we have, right, the beautiful new holiday mini catalog and everybody wants to get stuff to make their holiday projects, right? So I said, just throw it out there. You never know who might be listening and hear you and be thinking about putting an order in and you just mentioning like, hey, I'm trying to, you know, meet this goal, uh, keep my title. Um, if you can do that to help me out, I would greatly appreciate it. And so she did. And I think she she definitely met and I think exceeded her goal. So congratulations to Sunday, kind of putting herself out there and you never know. I said, you know, basically you, you just do that. You put yourself out there and if people can help, they will. And if they're not able to, that's okay too. But it, you know, if you don't ask, you can't get the results, right? So I was happy for her that she put herself out there and then it worked out well for her. So congratulations Sunday on continuing to meet your silver title requirements and then she'll earn the benefits of a silver status for a whole additional year as well. So through next September 30th. The big one at silver is you get a 2% product bonus. Uh, so whatever your sales are in a quarter, they figure out what are your sales, 2% of that, and they like pop that in as a credit on a demonstrator order. So you get to get free stuff from Stampin' Up! just based on sales from the prior quarter. So congratulations to Sunday on that. And for everyone else that is meeting those title requirements. So make sure you check. If you're a demonstrator, make sure you check. And if if you're not and you want to get the starter kit, I'm always happy to help um, kind of keep an eye on those things as well. So yeah, let me know if anybody has any questions on that too. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, 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 guess what we are going to do now, right? I'm just checking to make sure, but we are going to do the super summer giveaway drawing. I have been, okay, let me tell you guys, I don't know if you can, 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 you probably can't really see, but okay, so I don't want to dump them out, right? But these over 300 entries are in here. So I have these little, um, <laughs> well, that one, I don't really love that color, right? We're going to show you a prettier one. Where's a pretty, how about the boho blue? Yeah, okay. So I made these little tickets, right, for the Super Summer Giveaway with the little birdie on them and the little punch, right? And then I put people's names on the back. Okay, 300 names, over 300 names are in this basket right here. So how did you get your name in this basket, right? The Super Summer Giveaway drawing, it happened all summer long, so all of June, July, and August. You got one ticket in here if you attended an event or did the online class to go kits. Two entries for every $50 you spend, two entries for every picture that you posted uh, right here on this Facebook group, two entries if you brought a new guest, three entries if you joined a club, five entries if you bought the starter kit, and five entries if you held a private party or class. So I went through everything from June, July, and August, this whole list, made sure I had everybody's names in here, and holy mackerel, it was a lot of punching and stamping, and, and I'll admit, I had a bunch made up already that were stamped, and then at the end, I'm like, I'm just punching these things because no one's going to care whether there's the birdie stamp on the back of it. They just want their name on it, right? Okay, so 
Let me, all right, gotta put that over there. Do, 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 do. Okay, what are we gonna start with? This is what I hadn't thought about, but let's see. Um, Hmm. We're going to start with these. These are the adhesive backed sequins trio pack. So we've got, I'm going to say shaded spruce. Ugh, I don't know, some bright pink and then white. Okay. So, all right. Now I got to try to keep, keep this organized. So I have to watch the video again, figure out who won what. Okay. So, oh my gosh, this is like pressure I'm trying to make sure they're all shaken up really well. Okay. So here we go. First winner, first ticket in my hand, only one, please. We have, ah, Miss Francine Throop. She is a new friend, came to uh, the Buy One Get One Free event back in June. So congratulations, Francine Throop. You are the winner of these awesome sequins. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right down here. Make sure I get those to Miss Francine. So congratulations, Francine. Next, let's do, oh, I love, this is perfect for like fall, um, fall and like winter even, right? The fern, love ferns too. So this is the fern embossing folder, okay? All right, so let's see. Who is the lucky winner of the fern embossing folder? Let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Okay, one entry, one ticket in my hand. Ha, huh, Miss Deb Northrup. And I think you're watching, Miss Deb, so congratulations. You are the winner of the fern embossing folder. So I will put that out on the porch for you. You can pick it up at your convenience. Okay, next, what are we gonna do? Okay, let's do, we're gonna do this one. This is the Suttles Designer Series Paper Pack. So beautiful pack of paper featuring our Suttles colors, right? So kind of those soft pastel colors. Oh my gosh, 300 and some entries in here. This is like a lot. Oh, let's just shake them, shake them, shake them. Okay. One entry <laughs> in my hand, Miss Bonnie Simon. All right, congratulations, Bonnie. I will get that paper pack put out on the porch for you as well. All right, you guys see me bending over? I hope not, it's because, uh, do you hear me? Do you hear me groaning? <laughs> okay, next, and I'm dying to open this, you guys. This is the Balmy Blue, it's a sparkle ribbon, so you can kind of see. This is fresh out of our new holiday catalog. Um, so beautiful, sparkly, excuse me, balmy blue ribbon. I'm going to grab a quick sip of water. Hmm. Feeling like I could use that. Okay, so who is the lucky winner of that balmy blue sparkly ribbon? And I'm dying, like I said. I'm very curious because I don't think I have it yet. Maybe it's ordered. I can't remember, but uh oh bonnie wow that's awesome congratulations again on another win of all the entries in there that is like amazing to get two wins you guys can hear right I, i'm like i am totally shaking these up i can't there's no way i can shake them up more than i am right i'm tossing them around okay hey luck of the draw right it's like okay bonnie you better go buy a lottery ticket it's a good sign for you. Okay, next we have, oh, I love these, the Tinsel Gems 3-pack. I have used so many of these beautiful sparkly gems. I just love them. They're going to be great for holiday time, too, with um, like that snowflake paper. I think those would look awesome with a project that you might make with some of that snowflake paper or the snowflake stamp set, too. Okay, one lucky winner, Miss Carolyn Lawrence. Congratulations, Carolyn. I will put these gems out on the porch for you as well. Yeah, lots of like local, local winners. You And so you do have um, an opportunity if you uh, participated in the In Color Club, the Core Color Club, um, if you did Class to Go Kit. So even if you're long distance, your name is in here too, um, if you participated in any of those things, right? Because you came to the event, even if it was, uh, you know, a Class to Go or the... Um, uh, one of the clubs, right? And then obviously in most cases it was over $50. You got a couple more entries for that too. So, all right, next we have, this is, I love this stamp set. I know we used it a few, I don't know, probably a couple months ago on Facebook Live, but the Kindest Expression stamp set. Love these big, fun, like the beautiful fonts, right? Sending sunshine and rainbows is what that says. All of a sudden I was like, is that what that says? We've got a With Sympathy an oh happy day and a thanks so much. So awesome sentiments in here. The lucky winner of the Kindest Expression stamp set is, you know, it's so funny too. Um, 
I have, you know, the memories pop up on Facebook, and I used to have my kids help me with this, and there's, there's like one video that's really hilarious, because Lily was totally handing it up um, as I was, I think she was drawing the names, and then she would pull it out, and she would have no idea how to read my scribbly handwriting, so it was, it was really cute, though. I'm like, oh, Bonnie, unbelievable. I swear to God, Bonnie's name is not the only one in here, but holy mackerel, Bonnie, seriously. Okay, the winner of the Kindest Expression stamp set. Also, this is amazing, Bonnie. I'm like, I'm not, this is not rigged, I promise. I'm just like, I'm so blown away by this. But wow, Bonnie, <laughs> so lucky today. Okay, last we have a beautiful, this is the Christmas Classics stamp set. I've seen some gorgeous projects done with this. And I love, love this font, right? That Cursive Seasons greetings. Um, we've got, oh, and then you can kind of build things too, right? Like Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas. There's a Christmas Wishes. Um, maybe you could go Happy Holidays and then To You and Yours. What else do we have? Peace on Earth right there. Tidings of Comfort and Joy. And then this one says Deck the Halls. And then some other beautiful complimentary imagery to the dies that go with the stamp set also. So last entry right here. I wonder if Bonnie's going to win this one too. I am, not that I don't want Bonnie to win, but I, I kind of would like to spread the wealth around a little bit more than we have. Oh my goodness. But that, I don't know. That's, you guys, seriously, there's so many entries in here, Bonnie. I'm just still blown away. But okay, one last winner is, I got one in my hand, Miss Tracy Claire. All right, congratulations, Tracy. You are the winner of the Christmas Classic stamp set. So, all right, I was like, kind of thank goodness it wasn't Bonnie's name again. Not that I don't love Bonnie, because Bonnie's awesome, but I was like, oh, yeah, that was good. Spread it around a little bit more. So congratulations to all of the winners. I think everyone's local. So I'll get these things put out on the porch and you can stop by and pick them up anytime. So, and thank you guys for all of your participation um, in classes and events and posting and all of those things. I appreciate all of that. And it's fun. It's fun to see, especially the posting. So continue to do that. I love to see what you guys are up to. Love to see the projects you're making, especially with like holiday time coming, like fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, holiday. Love to see what you guys are doing. And I know others do too. So share those. It inspires me and it inspires everyone else who's a part of our group as well. So I appreciate you doing that too. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Here I feel like I'm like dancing. Oh, okay. Quick reminder, one day retreat, RSVPs and payment are actually due next Monday. I feel like this came up so quickly. Like normally I feel like I'm advertising for months about this. So if you haven't heard, the next one day retreat is on Saturday, October 7th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church. I totally take care of you. I feed you. I give you a huge goodie bag full of lots of products. There are make and takes featuring um, the products in your goodie bag. Hi, Nikki. Hello, hello. Welcome. Um, let's see. We always have lots of little snacks and treats. There's a buy one, get one free sale there. Lots of um, ideas, samples, things around camaraderie, just fun hanging out with everybody. So love, love, love to have you join me at the next one day retreat on Saturday, October 7th. But again, next Monday, September 18th is like the cutoff. I got to get everything ordered and prepped and ready to go. So if you're interested and you've been like wavering or like, you know, not doing, not, not telling me, you better tell me, right? Because I got to get everything ordered and, and ready to go for you. So I would love for you to join us because I definitely, I have room for more. This is a big space and I'd love for as many of us to spend the day together as we possibly can. All right. So let me know. Love to get you signed up for that. Um, okay. I think we are ready to do, yeah, our next drawing for, so this is, hi Stormy, what you doing, buddy? You want to say hi to everybody? Yeah. It's so funny. He's this little dude, and you know, you talk to him, and he kind of turns his head like, Mom, what are you? Yeah. And then I ignored him for a sec. Okay. All right. So we are going to do our drawing for this is the Rustic Crate stamp set. Your name is, yes, in the basket right here if you put an online order in through me. Um, in the last two weeks, right, since our last Facebook Live, your name is in here. You automatically, for sure, are getting both of these projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live as a thank you. Um, you also automatically, if your order was over $50, which I think everybody's was, you are going to get these 10 additional free handmade cards. And then you get to pick from 
either the free embellishment or the demo design dream team pdf tutorial either one of those and then now your name is in the drawing for this rustic crate stamp set so so many goodies so many ways to say thank you which i truly appreciate and again don't forget ordering through me helps me get to that four hundred thousand dollars in sales mark that i'm trying to reach by the end of september if we can do it okay so here we go one lucky winner for this rustic crate stamp set is Miss Gwen Cooper. All right, congratulations, Gwen. I will get that stamp set. I have to make sure. Yeah, I have your I have your address. I was gonna say, do I have your address? But I do, yes, because you ordered through me. So I have your address. So thank you so much. Awesome, beautiful fall stamp set, right? With sentiments, what do we have? Every day with you is better. Oh, that's awesome, right? There's a little for you, blessed beyond measure. And then this one, good things take time. That's awesome too. What a great stamp set. I love, especially, because I don't think I read those sentiments before. I'm like, oh, I got a little like teary eye. Those are great, great sentiments, right? Okay, so congratulations, Gwen. I will get that sent out to you. I'm running out of room to like, move stuff off the table here <laughs> okay um are we done stormy are we done what are you doing he's like what mom what i think we're good i think we are gonna flip yeah because i have more stuff to show you guys before we even do our stamping okay so yep we talked about all these things okay yep 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 okay here we go turn your heads away we're flying through the air and we're gonna flip the camera down so you guys can see what is going on here? Mm. Make sure I want to hit the wrong thing there, right? Okay. I think we're ready. Flip. Okay, good. So holiday catalog, holiday mini catalog. And I can show you guys the inside of this catalog now too. All right, I'm going to get my glasses on so I can see what we're doing here. And... Like I said, I've got my swaps all in order, kind of as they come through in the catalog. So, well, not this. Yeah, okay, good. You guys can pretty much see both pages, right? Okay, so this, and I want to make sure to point this out because this is part of our Making a Difference campaign through Stampin' Up. This designer series paper, which is all right over here called A Walk in the Forest. It's our traditional 12 sheets, two each of six double-sided designs for $12.50. The cool thing is that Stampin' Up is going to donate $3.00 of every single sale of this designer series paper, it says to support organizations dedicated to spreading cheer and providing support to those in need. So it's essentially, um, you know, our kind of charitable donation. So beautiful um, designer series paper too. And here's an example of a project made with, again, this is the Walk in the Forest designer series paper. And then there's a cool stamp set I'll show you guys with the bears um, that's coming up. But actually that is like that one right there. You can see there's that bear and the trees right there, right? And then I can't remember what these dies are called, but they're very cool. And I love the sparkly gems. So I'll show you those two as we flip in the catalog because those are pretty darn awesome. Okay, so that's the first one. So we're gonna kind of just flip. And as I see this, oh yeah, here are those discs, those adhesive back discs that we're giving away if you share um, the Facebook Live video. Love this whole suite here too. There are so many good suites in here, you guys. I just kind of can't get over like how awesome so many of these things are, right? And lots of, um, uh, yes, the St. Nick stamp set too. Isn't that cool? Um, this is the one right here that they actually kind of feature back like they're showing you how you can die cut and like add all these embellishments and things that's what this stamp and die set are for right here i'm trying to see where is this one coming in i don't think we've well maybe i was going to show you so those are the little adhesive back to discs i'm not oh yeah because oh and it's the designer series paper it's funny because it's not showing up for me quite as well but this it's actually this one right here. I'm like, I know I have these in order, but this paper right here is part of this Merry Bold and Bright Designer Series paper. If you can see that, it's a little hard to see, but it's um, it's like Melon Mambo and um, Poppy Parade stripes. And then this cool um, love, like the little streamers, right? And the little party horn. Happy birthday to you. I don't know where the rest of it's from, but we might come across it. Um, but yeah, because in the meantime, I was like, I know I had an idea to show you guys. So with this stamp set and this is more of 
Actually, it's not. The, well, or is it? Now I'm trying to remember. I don't know all this stuff quite that well yet. I was going to check and see. Yeah, is it? It looks like, yes, it's part of this paper right here. So this this paper, actually, I think both of them are. So both of those designer series papers are also part of that A Walk in the Forest designer series paper pack. But then the, I love that tree too, right? And it says, we wish you a Merry Christmas, right? We wish you, you want to sing it with me, <laughs> right? No, please don't do that, Amy. <laughs> but yeah, so beautiful. Um, love, 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 love that card. I guess I haven't been sharing with you. This is from Amy Story down in Denton, Texas. All right. And this one is super cute, and I've gotten more into coloring, so I'm like, oh, we might, we might find that stamp set somewhere along the way, too. And then look at this beautiful Oh Holy Night Suite. So the designer series paper is just absolutely gorgeous. I know I showed you guys that on our last Facebook Live. There's some specialty paper that goes with it. These guys, I think, are unorderable right now, but they'll be back. And then this um, Knight of Navy, um, what is it called? The Knight of Navy Glittered Ribbon. Beautiful. And then a couple of bundles. So over here, this one, so we've got right here this Merry Christmas, this star, um, and then actually that's some of the ribbon. And can you kind of see the embossing folder in there too? So this is actually stamp set, dies, and embossing folder all in the Stars at Night bundle. Beautiful, right? There's some of um, the designer series paper too. So beautiful. That one is from Laura Milligan. Love Laura. She's awesome. Such a sweet, sweet lady. Okay, next, just some more cute stuff, right? I love this too. So again, those huge um, sentiment stamp sets, love those. Think you can do a lot with them, right? You can see lots of good ideas there. The ornaments are really pretty too, aren't they? Ooh, handcrafted elements dies, those are called, right? Erica Miller, hello. Thanks for watching today. Did I miss anything? Oh, Anna, yes, you love that whole Oh Holy Night Suite. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Okay, good. We're all back on track here, right? Um, so then this one I love. This is some of my favorite paper. This is that bear paper that I was talking about too. It kind of um, looks like the other a walk in the forest with some of these are polar bears though, I guess, right? There are some regular bears too, but I love, love the colors I think is what I really love too. And then this is a cute sentiment, right? Too, that says Christmas is better together. Those are those little sequin, what are those called? What is that number three? The adhesive backed glitter sequins. Yeah, so that's what she used a few of those on there too. This card uh, was designed by Lynn Feldkamp. So super duper cute. Yeah, so here's the little stamp set, right? Christmas is better together. This one is cute too. I like that one. Just so many. Sometimes I flip and I'm like, there aren't quite, um, you know, maybe as many things as I I don't know. They don't they don't touch me or something. Don't hit me. Um, and these are both all beautiful though, aren't they? Very the owls. I love owls too. The winter owls. I haven't this is one that I haven't really even paid attention to yet, but now that I'm looking, I'm like, I love owls. I think they're just really, really cool animals. Um, very fascinating, right? So, oh, and then this one, I love this, the Noel. You guys can see that. She did a great job showcasing this um, die right here too. I have to have this. I didn't even notice it, to be honest. And I got this card and I was like, where is this? So here's the stamp, right? We've got a Joyous Noel. Uh, this is the stamp set I just gave away too, or I think this is part of the whole suite. So we got a couple of stamp and die sets in here too, but love that, right? That Noel, the Joyous Noel. So pretty. Carla, hello and welcome. And actually there's another, oh, we've got a few. How many do we have here? We've got We've got three cards featuring this Joy of Christmas um, suite, right? So we've got this one that has the deck, the halls, got some pretty stamping, beautiful designer series paper, which is this one right here called the Joy of Christmas designer series paper. That's what she used there. Again, used here. These dies, let's flip the page so we can see where all these things are coming from. Okay, so there's your Noel, the die, and the stamp, right? Then we've got this one right here, this Tidings of Comfort and Joy. And then that die right there is that. You guys can see all the detail. Beautiful, right? And then some other spriggy, leafy things have to be from that die set as well. This is the Christmas Classics Bundle. 
And then this one over here, um, actually there's not much die cutting, is there? There's kind of that, is that the countryside corner dies and then some stamping, but beautiful too, right? Um, love that designer series paper as well. Okay, next we have, this is a cute one. This is one that's caught my eye too. I love like the gingerbread and stocking and those things. So the sending cheer, this is the stamp set and the dies. So here's an example with this one. Cute, cute, cute. And she kind of added the little um, foot and heel covers on there too. Hi, Philomena. Thanks for joining us. So that's another cute one. This one is from Angie Leach. And this is a cute stamp set too, right? Oh my gosh, so many good, good things, right? Oh, all so beautiful. This is another just gorgeous suite, this Winter Meadow Suite collection. So here is an example. This is some of this Snowflake Magic. This designer series paper, you can see the three different patterns there and there. And then we've got this one. Thanks for the share, Philomena. Right? And then actually she used some of those Faceted Gems Trio Pack. And what was I trying to find? Oh, here it is. Here is this... Um, sparkling snowflake stamp set it's called so that's what she did some stamping i love that too great layout on there i have to remember that one this one is from oh miss connie babbert okay i i used to follow her work oh my gosh like stalked her blog loved everything that she did i haven't she what is now oh, i gotta look a little bit closer i think she's inkspired treasures yeah inkspired treasures connie babbert connie babbert at inkspired treasures love her work Oh, and then these are cute too, these little boxes. So they've tied this ribbon around and then you can kind of like slide them out of the ribbon, the nested treat boxes, super duper cute. Got that stamp set already, have to play with it. I love the gondola, something so fun about that, right? And then the beautiful fall, the All About Autumn Suite. So here is a beautiful card. So there are a couple things that are not orderable just yet. They'll be back in, so just have patience. Um, but this is actually the back front and back side of that All About Autumn Designer Series paper. Should be available soon. And then this ribbon here, that copper ribbon, you guys see that? Absolutely beautiful, right? Um, and then... Wishing you many blessings is probably a stamp. I am thinking, oh yeah, right here, from the Fruitful Blessing stamp set right there. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful suite. And then what's next? Oh yeah, and this is what we're going to use today, this stamp and die set, the autumn leaves bundle, right? And then some more beautiful fall imagery, the Rustic Crate stamp set. That's the one we just gave away um, for online ordering. I love this sentiment stamp set too, this So Sincere sentiment stamp set. And then we're on to like Halloween fun, the Them Bones Suite collection. So here's a cute little card featuring that Them Bones designer series paper. Here's another one with a little bit more of that paper, right? And what else do we have in here then? So here's the little Tricks and Treats um, stamp set. So there's that little spooky haunted house and the trick or treat, right? Oh, and she actually used some of that copper ribbon on there as well. Awesome, right? And then the little cutie, the cutie, the harvest of blessings, right? This cute, cute, cute little stamp set, the pick of the patch stamp set, which is actually what we're using on my class to go this month too. And then what do we have? The Garden Walk Suite. So here's an example, some of the Garden Walk Designer Series paper. This is the new punch right here. What is it called? The, do I see it? Where is, is the, oh yeah, well, yeah, the punch. Well, it's part of the bundle, I guess it's saying. I think you can get the punch separately. Yeah, I feel like you have, yeah, the modern oval punch. It's over here, yeah. And then we've got this, this pretty little, so thankful for you, right, in that little modern oval. Very cool, huh? And that one is from Janie Backer. And I love this one too. This one's similar to that birthday stamp set that we have um, in the holiday, or I'm sorry, in the annual catalog. I love this too, this translucent flowers. Very pretty, huh? And then this one is fun also that's going to work with the um, punches that are in the, um, what is that, in the annual catalog. And those are called the Inked and Tiled Punch Pack, the Ink and Tiled Punch Pack. Yep, so you can see those two images, those punches. Then, love this one too, the little Happy New Year, right? Some other great kind of family imagery there. Oops, I'm kind of out of, out of alignment there, right? The whale watching stamp. This one is fun too, another sentiment stamp set throughout the year. Then, what do we have? Oh, that's where that birthday thing came in, isn't it? Right here. 
<coughs> yes, this year to celebrate. So she actually, I'm sure she, oh my gosh, she fussy cut these, right? So this went on there. Those two go together, right? And then we've got the little happy birthday to you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then lastly, we have this one, the cheers to the season with this cheers stamp right there. And then again, she fussy cut that one as well too. <coughs> that was Candy Retre that did that card. So mm, I think I might need to grab a mint or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. I think I'm going to do that real quick because I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going to have a problem and I still have a bunch more to share with you guys. So give me one sec. I'm going to run and grab a mint. So one moment. You guys can continue to enjoy the pages on here. Thanks for your patience there, ladies. I grabbed a couple just in case. Okay. Mm. Oh, I know. I got to grab one more thing, though. I want to show you guys my... Uh, where is it? My class to go. Hmm. There it is. Okay. Pick of the patch class to go is what you guys are going to see now super cute love the stamps love the dies well no the punch actually <laughs> why don't i have that out mm -hmm. i really was organized we're going to just flip to the page in the catalog i have it here for some <laughs> my craft room if you guys could see it it's it feels like absolute chaos right now. And it's really not. I mean, it shouldn't be. I don't know. I do have a lot coming up, though, with um, have um, team meeting on Tuesday and then the customer appreciation event on Wednesday. So there's kind of a lot of stuff, like, in process here. Okay, we're almost there. I probably should have looked it up. Wait a minute. <laughs> did I flip past it? I think I did. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm like... Whew, there we go. Okay, yes. Pick of the patch bundle. Stamp set. So cute. This pumpkin and this pumpkin, you can see they're kind of whited out around the edges. Those are the stamps that coordinate with um, the punch. And then there's that little guy and that little leaf and that little stem. Okay. So then that's the punch right there too. Right. So let me show you guys the cards and then I'll tell you about the options that are available. Four cards. We always make four cards in the class to go. Right. I've got Two, two of each of them. So here's this first one. You're the pick of the patch. Cute, 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 right? And then we've got thanks so much. Nothing on the inside of that one. We've got a happy Halloween on that one. And then this one, a harvest of blessings. So those are your four cards featuring pick of the patch, stamp set, and punch. So option number one, you get the stamp set and the punch. You also get a quarter of a pack of, this is the Them Bones designer series paper. So you can see one side right there. Woo, there's the other side right there. So there are definitely some Halloween-y patterns, but there are also some fall patterns. And I definitely went more with kind of a fall theme. If you want Halloween cards, turn these into Halloween cards. We do have that happy Halloween sentiment. If you don't want Halloween cards, use one of the other sentiments, okay? Then you also are gonna get a full bolt of, what is this called? I think it's the natural wavy trim. Very cool, right? And then a full, not a partial, but a full package of these neutral sequins. You can see I've been loving those, right? You get the designer series paper for free in option number one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm glad you like these cards so much. I liked them too. It's funny because I kind of struggled when I was first um, working on the projects and then they all just kind of started to flow. So lots and lots of fun. Okay, so again, stamp set, punch, ribbon, sequins, quarter pack of paper for free, four cards, two of each of them, eight cards total, PDF tutorial, option number one is $73. Option number two is if you already have the stamp set, the punch, you're going to get the ribbon, the sequins, the DSP, all the parts and pieces, and the PDF tutorial. Option number two is $32. Uh, priority email shipping, if you need it shipped to an additional $10 um, for that shipping. Option number three is just the PDF tutorial, $15 available anytime, 
also free to anyone in my downline, any of my expired stampers team members, get that PDF tutorial for free. And then option number four is also for my downline. They can get all the parts and pieces to do the make and takes. They still need their stamp and their punch because they're going to do their own stamping and punching, but I'll give them what they need for ribbon, sequins, DSP. Option number four for my downline is $15 for the make and takes. So let me know if you guys have any questions. RSVPs are due by the end of the month on Friday, September 29th. So on our next Facebook Live, that'll be the last day to RSVP. And the kits will ship out no later than October 10th. And hopefully sooner than that. Um, but that, I always have to make sure I give myself enough time for the shipping with Stampin' Up is the main thing. Okay, we are finally gonna do our stamping. I feel like I have done a lot of talking, but you guys, there's been so much good stuff to share with you too. Okay, I think we got it all right. Okay, so let me find my grid paper and make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep, okay. I'm gonna give you the host code too. That's our host code for September. Okay. Stuff's flying. Okay. Get these things out of the way. Oh, all right. I'm just throwing stuff on the ground now. <laughs> okay. I'll have my maid pick it up later, right? Mm -hmm. Or my assistant. Would that be stormy? <laughs> Used to maybe be Lily, my lovely assistant, but <laughs> okay. So here is our first project that we are going to make with the autumn leaves stamp set and the autumn leaves dyes. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna pull out what we need. Lots and lots of stamps we're using. I'm gonna kind of leave those in there. I'm gonna try to pull all my paper out because I wanna show you guys dimensions of things. Tell you about the dimensions, right? Okay, so pretty peacock cardstock, right? Are we in view? Now we're in view, right? Okay, so full sheet, eight and a half side, we cut it in half at four and a quarter inches. Along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? Got that one right there. Then on the inside, very vanilla, four by five and a quarter, very standard sizing. Also this one, embossed, four by five and a quarter. You'll be able to see that with that distressed tile embossing folder. And then I basically just have scrap pieces of vanilla, Cajun craze, pecan pie, and crumb cake to do my stamping and die cutting. So we are going to get to that right now. Okay, so actually we will, let's open this up so I can see what we got going there too, right? Yeah, we're going to have to get all of our stamps out first. I was, I was like, maybe I can not make them too big of a mess but that's not gonna work. We're gonna stamp and then we're gonna die cut because that's how we do things around here. Okay, so we have lots of stamps. Just gonna pull these out. We use what we need, maybe get it cleaned up and back. Okay, so we are going to, here, we want this one. Let's just do this right now so then I can do the um, outside of the card. Okay, I'm gonna just put this underneath here. My little scrap piece of paper. You guys can see, right? Yep, okay. So we are going to use crumb cake ink for kind of the outline of the leaf, okay? So let's do that right there. And then I wanna do the veins of the leaf. Actually, I can leave. I'm gonna try to help myself out here. Then we're gonna use pecan pie for the veins of the leaf. And I have decided if they're not perfect, that's okay, but that looks pretty good, right? Okay, so there's step one on the inside of our card. Now we're gonna open that back up and we're gonna do the same thing again. Crumb cake, and then the veins are gonna be, <coughs> excuse me, in pecan pie, okay? Then we're gonna grab our Cajun Craze ink and we're gonna Ink up our maple leaf, and we're gonna put that one right there. Isn't that awesome? I mean, that's beautiful all on its own, right? And then we're gonna add some veins, <coughs> excuse me, again in pecan pie. <coughs> hmm. I think my allergies, it's funny, I'm like, oh, all of a sudden, feeling like, the allergies are starting to kick in. Okay. 
I'm gonna stamp that guy right there. So we got the veins on that one. And then is that, oh no, we've got one more. Then, actually we've got two more, but let me think about, I'm trying to remember what I even did. Okay, this one, <laughs> it, I did these quite a while ago. So now I'm like, what did I do? Okay, so we did pecan pie. Those, that's too much. Let's try this one again. Yeah, there's just a lot of ink. That's okay though. So we've got our pecan pie. And then we are going to do the veins on that one in Cajun Craze. There we go. Okay, so we got that, the leaves. We'll die cut those in a sec. We are also going to stamp. So we're good with all of these ink colors. Okay, so I think I'm going to get rid of these guys. Now we're going to use our Pretty Peacock ink. And we're going to stamp... I must go somewhere else, right? Got this one here. I'm like looking at what have I used and not used. I'm thankful. I'm going to stamp that one right there. And then this one. Okay, now I got to put my glasses on. <laughs> Let's see. To have a friend. Oh, I'm sorry. To have you as a friend. I was like, what is that? To have a friend like you? To have you as a friend. We're going to do. Let's see. There we go. I'll be better. Well, and actually it's like, oh, it's kind of crooked, but there's a little something on the end there. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but you see it does stamp well. For being such a tiny, teeny tiny stamp, it really does stamp well. Now we gotta, <laughs> we gotta die cut that thing, <laughs> which is interesting. Okay, because um, I don't wanna get ink all over everything. We're gonna just clean these real quick and put them back in here so they're out of the way. Hopefully everything die cuts all right. I don't generally <laughs> clean until after I do my die cutting in case things really don't go well and I have to stamp them again. But I have completely jinxed myself now that I've said that, right? So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this goes, right? All right, so I've got that one. I'm gonna grab the die cutting machine. Actually, let's do our embossing first. Okay. Our scissors and adhesive and everything. Okay, we're gonna scoot those out of the way. Okay, this is the distressed tile embossing folder. Beautiful embossing folder. I'll show you guys. If you can see, and it's funny because um, when I used this, I was like, oh, part of it didn't emboss very well. <laughs> and then I remembered it's called the distressed tile embossing folder, which means it's not all supposed to emboss like perfectly. Some of it's kind of worn, like maybe, you know, it got worn off or something. So, you know, I figured it out and you guys will maybe kind of see it in here. See where it's like smooth, where it didn't emboss right there, but that's what it's supposed to do. Isn't that pretty though? The distressed tile. Okay. All right, let's scoot those out of the way because we're good with those. Now you're going to do some die cutting. Excuse me, I just bumped that, I know. And I am going to help myself out and cut these things because what you will find is it's not nearly as easy to line everything up. Um, when it's on one piece of paper. So if the die starts moving or something, then you can just move the one piece. But if it's all on a strip, then it's really hard to keep everything <laughs> in place. And believe me, I found that out the hard way, okay? All right. So we are going to use, oops, where'd it go? That die there that one there. We're gonna have to run a couple things because then we've got this one. We're gonna use this baby right here. Okay. And then we will, so we're gonna die cut all these stamped images first. And then we've got some other, that'll be simple because you won't have to line anything up, right? No stamping with them. Yeah, that pecan pie. Woo, I just kind of popped that on there and that looks pretty good. Um, that pecan pie ink pad is super juicy. Sometimes what I'll do is just grab um, 
like a Kleenex. Just kind of dab, because I didn't ink that, but you know, sometimes when they come from Stampin' Up, they maybe have a little extra ink in them. So probably could do that. So I'm referring to this one right here that you can't see the um, leaf, the detail of it quite so well, but isn't that cool? That one's very pretty, huh? Okay. Looks like a tree in my front yard. Starting to change. They are definitely starting, falling a little bit. And then those leaves right there, right? Okay. All right, next. Where's my card? You know, the, oops, it's underneath there. We're going to put these things on here. And that little baby there. Okay, so this teeny tiny, we're going to come back to that in a sec. But we need, so these are the dies that we have left that I haven't used yet. Okay, so we're gonna use, you can see we've got two of these little baby size maple leaves. We're gonna use, oops, this leaf right there and then one of those little babies on our crumb cake. And I think that's all we need, right? So these just need to be on the paper. They don't need to be lined up. But this little guy, I learned the easiest thing for me to do was to use so now it's going to be really finicky. It actually wasn't, huh, it wasn't too bad. This could be interesting. Um, just going to put that right on there and use that sticky. Hold that on. Layer it up. And then that little guy moved. Saw that happen as I laid that down. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, these are gorgeous leaves, aren't they, Philomena? I agree. All right, so let's see. We've got that one. Okay, so that one came out nice and easy. All right, we got this one. That little, isn't that cool? All the, the little extra details in there. I love them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that worked. There's that leaf right there, right? And then let's see what happened. Did our sentiment, did this one work? I think it did. Oh, yay. Look, okay. Teeny, teeny, weeny little guy there, right? Okay. Very cool. All right. So we got them all. We're going to scoot this baby out of the way. And we can put our card together now, ladies. So this one has some more detail. The other one, I think, is um, pretty simple. I'm trying to remember. We'll see it in a moment, actually. Okay. So we've got everything we need here. Oh, Storm heard UPS truck. He's just driving by Storm. He's not stopping here, okay? <laughs> you know, we do what we can to try to keep the quiet around here. Okay, so we're going to add some adhesive on our very vanilla piece. And we're going to, nope, that's not our card base. This is our card base right here, right? Okay. Pop that one right there. And then we're going to add adhesive right here. Okay, I always like to add a bunch of adhesive on um, a piece of cardstock that is embossed because it's kind of bumpy and ridgy and I don't want it to be like buckling or, you know, popping up <clears throat> on my card base. Okay, we're gonna grab I want my little silicone mat here. And let's see, we'll grab some. <laughs> this is what I have left in my dimensionals, but I think we're going to make it work here. Okay, so I just added adhesive behind, and then this one, I'm going to put some dimensionals on. Okay, so we're going to put this, I'm thankful. Oops, put that there, and that there. You guys use the backs of, or the edges, right, of your dimensionals, don't you? It's that whole recycle girl in me. I'm like, I can't imagine just throwing those out. So I like to just put adhesive there because I kind of like to kind of curl this up and give a little dimension to my leaf, my leaves, I guess I should say, right? So if I put adhesive all over, then I can't kind of curl things up. Uh, let's see, we'll put that one. And we can always move these things if we need to. Put that one right about there, right? Then we're going to kind of layer that in. <laughs> yes, exactly, Philomena. No waste. That is my goal. Oops. That's okay, though. Kind of ripped my cardstock. 
Um, but you're never gonna know it because I'm gonna cover that up. Okay, so now, oops, we're gonna add some adhesive behind these little guys and just kind of pop them in there, right? Okay, so we got, and I love my silicone mat, right? So that it doesn't um, stick to my grid paper. Okay, now to attempt to put this on straight. I think this is easier than trying to stamp it, <laughs> right? Because then you can like pick it up and move it if you need to, but that one looks good there. Okay, now we're gonna just kind of tuck that little leaf underneath there. We're gonna do that one right there and maybe that guy right there, right? And then just kind of curling those up a little bit, making sure they're adhered, right? And then lastly, been loving, now I wanna get more of this, this in color twine. I think I used all of the wild wheat color on some projects I've been working on, but this is our um, copper clay, which I didn't actually use this color anywhere on the card, but it just works perfectly, I think. You know, kind of the tones, similar tones everywhere. Uh, fine, right, so Cajun, actually they, they are pretty similar, because I think I even tried to stamp um, to, you know, use both Cajun Crays and um, Copper Clay. I didn't like, it didn't give me enough like variety there, but you kind of get Right, get the idea there. So I'm thankful to have you as a friend. Isn't that beautiful? And then the little inside of the card. So there's our first project, again, featuring that autumn leaves bundle. Just such a gorgeous bundle, right? Oh, actually, I forgot. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys know me, right? I always have to put, I was like, that doesn't, doesn't look quite right, does it? Got to add a little bling here. So we have our brushed metallic adhesive backed dots so we're going to just add a couple of these little babies um to our card looks like i put this one up a little bit higher which is okay they can all be unique right all a little bit different there we go so there is our project number one right i'm so thankful to have you as a friend right 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 okay so there's the first one now what do i want to do with all this stuff let's just do this more on the floor oh my gosh i'm stressing myself out let's just don't look at the floor amy <laughs> Okay, project number two, very simple. We did some um, die cutting and embossing of the leaves and then added the veins in the same colors so that it's very kind of a soft neutral look there. But let me show you, tell you guys how I did this one, okay? All right, so this time we are starting with a thick, very vanilla card base. Here is our full sheet of cardstock. So this time along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our fold, just like that, right? If I do that, that'll kind of hold that one down there, right? Next, we have a piece of very vanilla cardstock layering on five inches by three and three quarter inches, right? And then we have, this is pecan pie, pumpkin pie, and um, copper clay, yeah. So there you can see there's your copper clay and then a piece of vanilla too to do our die cutting and stamping. And then where is, so that one stamp, I put it in here. There we go, good. Okay, so I need this, right? Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. That stamp we're gonna use right on there and I need to grab my pecan pie ink, Mr. Stormy, right? Okay, so here, we'll do that stamping because that's the only stamp that we need to do for this one right there we go love the font as usual okay so we got that scoop that one over there so now let's do our die cutting so we don't need that or that right okay you guys can see another kind of fun way to use these dies too i love that there's so much variety in them. Okay, so we got that one. I think we're gonna have to do this separately. So let's do these first. Where are my dies? Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, we are gonna have to do it a couple times, aren't we? Oh, and then I, <laughs> I'm not helping myself out at all. So I threw all the dies in here and now I need, what do I need? I need that one right there too. There we go, and then I'm trying to see what are we, we're gonna need. Okay, now I see. 
Okay, 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 okay. We got this one. So here's another label. So we use both of the labels. I love, I always love when, when you can get um, just kind of the basic, you know, label dies in with all these other, um, you know, like in this case, all of these leaf, leaf, the leaf imagery, right? Okay, so here, this is kind of the fun thing, right? There's the leaf, and we're going to keep that out, and we're going to emboss that. But then here are kind of the veins of the leaf, and those things just pop right out. They really do. Just pop right out. Aren't those cool, right? So you could put those on another color, and they'd pop even more. Um, but I chose to kind of do like tone on tone. And then here is that one too. Isn't that cool? I love that little notch out of each of the corners there. Okay, so we don't need that. So we're going to slide that back through. We're going to do the same thing in pumpkin pie. We're going to do our outline and then the veins. Okay, and then we have our copper clay. And I've got that one and I think I need one more. It is tossed in here. There we go. Okay, there. So we're going to use those two. So I think that's it, right? Because we've got the pumpkin pie. We're doing those. We already did that and that. We're doing those two. Okay. All right. More for myself than anything to make sure I have what I need here before I, you know, not that it's really hard to crank this thing, right? We could crank one more time if we needed to. Uh, but let's see. Okay. Oh, I love those two, right? There's, there's one that seems to stick more because the other one came right out. Okay. So again, our copper clay leaves, pretty pretties, right? So we just have to do one more thing and then we can put our card together. So there is the outline and then these are the veins of that one. Now we're going to emboss both of these guys. So let's do that again with our distressed tile embossing folder. So we're going to just pop both of the leaves and you want to make sure um, you're going to definitely do your embossing after your die cutting because if you embossed like just a sheet of cardstock and then die cut it, um, it would actually kind of smush your embossing, you know, when you ran it through the dies. So that's why I like to do the embossing after the die cutting rather than before. So you can kind of see, right? That's like the backside. Aren't those so pretty? There's that one, right? You can kind of see all the detail. Super duper cool, I think. All right. Scooting that right out of the way because we are all set with that. And we can put our project together. So... We're going to start with the veins of our leaves. And I'm going to use my silicone mat again so that I don't get adhesive all over everything. This, you want to be a little bit careful because I don't want to, it's already kind of sticking to my finger, right? I don't want to rip anything. So I'm just trying to add, and I'm not going out too far on the edges because it's okay if they're kind of floating on there. I kind of like that look, but I want to make sure the body of it is adhered there right and then we're gonna do this one right here right mm. did i it's almost like i there we go i did i was like did i ruin something and i didn't even know it but nope we're good it just got a little so you do they're delicate right so you want to be a little bit gentle with them because i kind of had that bent a little bit and i thought oh no did i screw something up but it just got a little bent so it didn't look and again, I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive on kind of the middle section of them, I would say. So we're going to put this one right there. We're going to do that one right there. We're going to add those. We're going to put some more adhesive behind these things. I think I actually want to, we're going to put our dimensionals behind this one first, where, here they are, <laughs> buried underneath some things. So we're gonna just cut the edges of these and kind of add that right on there, right? Ah, thank you. I'm glad you like that. It's actually, just so you know, it's all vanilla, if I didn't say that. Oh, and I should make sure to mention, because I always like to do that, that all of the colors, item codes, 
dimensions, everything that you need to order to make and recreate these cards will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Um, but yeah, so it's, like I said, Philomena, because I think you're saying it looks great on um, the vanilla and then on the white, it's actually all vanilla. So I've got thick berry vanilla and then the very vanilla regular cardstock. So it might be hard to tell um, the lighting. Could be a little weird. So we're going to tie a, this is another copper clay, copper clay right? We're going to tie a bow, I'm trying to get it in the right spot. Ooh, it went underneath too, didn't it? Mm. Ooh, I wonder how easy is that going to be, right? To uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to thread it through because I put my... Um, okay, so we're going to actually do this <coughs> this way. Okay. Um, I didn't realize that <coughs> until I'm looking that this went underneath and then I put my sentiment on top. All right, I got to give myself... <laughs> I should have just given myself more room to work with. What are we? I think I'm going the wrong way. That's why I keep, I'm like, I feel like I've done this a bunch of times trying to give myself more and I'm actually giving myself less. So there we go. Okay. Now we are all set. Okay. All right. We've got our little bow. Pull that one. All right. Now we can put our sentiment back on there. Right. And we've got our ribbon or our twine. Okay. Okay. And then we are going to, two, three, there. So I like to put, oh, there's Stormy. Somebody's walking by, invading our, invading our sidewalk, right? Oh my gosh, how dare them walk by our house. <laughs> Crazy dog. Okay, so here we go. Last little, well, almost. Then we, you know, we have to add some bling, right? But I like to pop that up on dimensionals. And then finally, we are going to add, in this case, we have, these are kind of the copper brushed metallic dots. We're going to put one there. Oops. Okay. Do I have a, yep, I have a glue dot. Oh, <laughs> this must be an extra one. I've got one on my finger now. I'm not sure where that came from, but... We don't need that one on my, you can't even tell, but there, we'll just put it back. You never know. I might need that at some point, right? <laughs> Who knows with me? Okay, ladies, we did it. We made it through. I think I showed you guys everything I wanted to show you. And we made these super cute, beautiful, gorgeous autumn leaf cards. So thank you guys for joining me. Don't, don't forget, right? If you put an online order through me using this, host code right here <coughs> you're gonna get both of these cards that i j just demonstrated your name oh is gonna go in the oh boy where is my catalog did i put it back right here your name is gonna go in the drawing to win where's my stamp set i think it's on page 65 yes this super cute the warmest heart it's on order i don't have it here yet but this is the stamp set that you could win if you order through me like I said, you're going to get both of these cards. You're going to get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment for this month. Plus, you are automatically going to get an additional 10 free handmade cards as a thank you from me for your online order just this month only in September. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you being a part of Facebook Live, hanging out here with me today. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy the beautiful fall weather and we'll see you two weeks from today. Next Facebook Live on Friday, September 29th. Bye everybody. Thank you.